and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be taking a look at the Forest Crafter add-on for Minecraft Bedrock bed Edition from the Minecraft Marketplace. Uh, you'd be... I actually had a question, I can't remember which add-on it was, but someone asked me a question, where's, where's the link? And it's like, this is a Minecraft Marketplace add-on. So, uh, and it's like, shame, and it's like, well, it's a shame that you can't get it free. I mean, I guess no, there is like legitimate gripes you can have with the Minecraft Marketplace. I have my own gripes. Uh, mostly the fact that it's basically is too opaque about everything, essentially. But, um, you know, I, I prefer to like, uh, you know, pay for the for good add ons that help the devs, you know, earn a living. Uh, oh, I forgot to remove the bosses out of there. Uh, so my inventory is going to be a bit of a mess from the last review. Well, it'll just take me five seconds to dump it all in here. I don't want to dump the torches. Alright, so fast craft add on book, ba ba ba, everything else in there. Right, so, oh, I, yeah. Uh, first thing, before I forget, I'm just going to give at p never write, never write at, enchant at p, efficiency five, and unbreaking tree, just so I can show off some of the uh, planks and stuff. Oh, it's one of these books I don't like. Uh, are this is this a settings? Oh, so there's disable tree generation, and then there's language. Oh wait, no, hold on. Oh yeah, let's see. Oh, right, so if I sh Oh. What? Introdu- Why won't it go past the in introduction? Whenever I try to go past the introduction, it's just go back to that. So, you have installed Forestcraft. Forestcraft adds 17 new natural years spawning trees to your world. These new tree years can be harvested for new wood, planks, and even grow fruit. There are 14 new fruit trees to harvest. Fruit can be, uh, fruit can be chopped, juiced, boiled, and even turned into slushies. And there's like a bunch of stuff that it's hard to see. Now this is why I don't like these kind of books, because it's hard to actually read sometimes. Right, there we go. I don't know why I was having such trouble earlier. Uh to cook for, uh not the greatest. I would have preferred an introduction to all the different new types of trees that there is before we move on to Cooking them, and now the book's not working again. Alright, uh, so that's a problem. Right, so I'll be back in one minute. I think this might be a thing with this world. Sometimes this world is just buggy with certain add ons, so I'll go try this out in a different world and see if it works better there. Okay, I'm back. So, yeah, it was just that world being a bit buggy. I can uh, uh, work, work this easily. So, yeah, let's just take a look at these and not this in order right then, I guess. Uh, to cook through to first to chop it up, craft a chopping board with an iron sword and three logs. So you want a chop chopping board. You can place it down. And uh, also one of the new trees uh, is here. Got this. I don't know what that is. Right. 
Nope. Oh, that did. That gave me the rainbow apple. Can I chop it up? Yeah, you right click on there and it chops it up. And you get two chops of them. Uh, yeah, my inventory is being me, so let me just tidy this up a little bit. Uh, oh, oh, and something else that uh, I noticed is that you can't go back by shift right clicking or, pun or shift punching. You have to pick it up and then place it back down. Which is another thing I don't like when add-on books do that. So yeah, not really a big fan of this add-on book. Uh, then while holding the food, you wish to chop, interact with the chopping board. Then you got you have the prep station. All the food recipes can be made using the prep station. It's six sticks and a uh, uh, crafting table. I don't know why it sticks. It seems that seems well to me. But you can make food stuff from here. So let's get a prep. You have a prep station. So this is basically just like a crafting table. Uh, I need to go into survival to be actually... So game mode zero. Turn that off. So you have all these different foods that you can make. Uh, so if I wanted to make a rainbow pie, I would. I need like a bunch of stuff for that. Well, there is a lot of food, new foods in here that you can get. Also, pie slicer? That's not food. I don't know why that's in the prep station. Bit odd, in my opinion. Oh, God damn these books. Okay, how do you make a tap? So, you can make fruit jam. Uh, to make jam, you will need a boiling pot. You can only uh, they, these can only be placed on a on furnaces. Put the chopped fruit into the boiling pot. Why does they need to be placed on furnace? So yeah, game mode one. I actually threw away some furnaces here. They're great. Uh, one furnace, and I need a boy. Boiling pot. So if I place the furnace in the ground, get yeah, yeah, in these books. So then I just like right click. Yep, yeah, and that makes jam. Then you have the fruits fruit slusher maker slushies using the slushy maker crafter slushy maker. Slush. Then you got the slushy mate. I hate this book. Oh, and now it won't work. Okay, so it wasn't just my world. That sometimes this just decides to not work. Then you have fruit juicing, which can make the fruit juicer. You, sir. <sighs> and you have fruit pies. Uh, place down the pie while using the slicer. You can make fr the pies like that. Cut off a section of the pie and then they get to pie slices to eat. Okay. And you have the chainsaw. The chainsaw can instantly chop down trees. Oh, I want to take a look at this. So, uh, craft, craft that, that's fairly basic. A stick, two copper, and two iron. Uh, chop down entire trees with a single hit. So, chain, chainsaw. I would actually change this recipe to uh, add uh, two chains right next to the two bits of iron. Make you make a bit more sense. So let's test it out on this. 
Oh! Yeah, it's basically an inbuilt tree capitator. That is cool, though. And you get a bunch of fruit from it. I guess you're supposed to chop down the fruit trees. That is a lot of wood. That is a lot of wood. Yeah, yeah, that's... Oh, and let's see how much wood I actually get from that one tree. And it doesn't seem to have durability, which... Is kind of iffy, in my opinion. Like, it's fine with the, the um, tree capitator from uh, World Utilities and the... the um, well, there's no... Yeah, yeah, it was World Utilities not having durability because that's a far more expensive item for one and for two. It... Um, is you don't actually chop down the tree with it, it just enables the tree capitator, but... Still, this is cool. Let's go into Game Mode 1 and try it out on the uh, on the vanilla trees over there, see if it works on them. Or if it only works on the uh, new trees. Yeah, it works on vanilla trees. It makes a cool little sound effect as well. I don't really like jungle plants, so I don't know why I'm picking all this up. So yeah, that's cool. Uh, oh, and it goes in your offhand some, for some reason. You can't see it in your hand. Does it still work in your hand? I'm willing to bet not. Yeah, no, it doesn't. So I don't know why you can go in your hand. Well, you can see it in... You see it in third person. Because if you want to do wheel chainsaws, you can. For whatever reason. So, where's uh, the stupid box? There they are. And the box is deciding it doesn't want to work. There we go. Just spam right click until it works. There's a tree shaker. The tree shaker allows you to easily harvest all the fruit from a tree. So, it's... Uh, Two iron ingots and a bunch of sticks. So give up the tree shaker. So how does this work? Oh, there you go. You just you smash a log and it shakes the tree. I don't know if they fall down or if they go straight into your inventory. Anyway, next thing. And let's do this again. Come on. Oh, and this is my offhand. Oh, come on, wake, damn you. You have one job. There you go. Uh, then you have the shear axe. The shear axe uh, can be used for both uh, chopping logs and shearing leaf blocks. Okay. Give a P she sh uh, uh. shear axe.
So it breaks blocks and it'll give you the leaf blocks as well. Well, that's kind of useful. If you want to do both, um, it doesn't seem to do have durability. Come on, nah. There we go. Uh, you got apple trees, banana trees, snow crystal trees. Uh, I guess I'm gonna just yeah, apple trees. Found in plains, wood type oak, rose apples, I, these are the items that uh, can be used. So you can get apple saplings, you can get apples which can be made into apple slices, which can be made into all them. And you have bananas, you have uh, snow crystal tree, you have sweet cherry tree, you have coconut tree, lemon tree, mango tree, maple tree, Orange tree, peach tree, pear tree, plum tree, rainbow tree, which we've seen, walnut tree, boab tree, which is cool, I like that, uh, wisteria tree, uh, redwood tree, change the logs, updates coming soon, please fix the book in the update, so yeah, get a bunch of new trees, let's take a look at the logs. So, hold on, I'm going to clear out my inventory real quick. I'll keep one stack of them. Oh. Ah, oh, I checked the axe in there, well, whatever. Don't care, really. So I just go L-O-G. I'm going to go it's also going to give me the stripped log, so there's... Oh yeah, there's also the stripped variant, so I also want a regular axe for that. So I'm going to show off the stripped variant. No. So, we've got Wisteria. A cherry. Wisteria. Pear. pear. Stripped walnut log. Stripped, 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 sweet cherry, stripped, 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 crystal, snow crystal, redwood, got some rainbow already, maple, plum, peach, orange, mango, banana, lemon, coconut, and boab. So I'm going to go to key mode zero. So ta let's take a look at the uh, the rainbow logs first. So hold on, can we get a re right? You can craft crafting table server, but it would be cool if you if I like, also added like an individual crafting table for each like uh, plank type. Well, so right, so. We have the rainbow log, which is directional, but it's, uh, yeah, it's the same directionality as uh, uh, vanilla. Then you have that, and then you have that, and I want to... Get my axe. Oh, I like how it looks stripped as well. Stripped is nice. Uh, hold on, do I have a crafting? I don't have a crafting table. So let's get a crafting table. I can do it. Yes, we can. Hold on, let's get some sticks. Rain. So we got trapdoors, stairs, slabs, fence, gates, fence, and doors. Uh, 
So let's take a look at all these. So we've got the fence gate. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to do all this for each leopard off screen and I'll be right back when it's all done. Okay, so I'm back and I've got this also for each wood type. So I've got the rainbow uh, wood here. I've got the orange wood. We've got the the sweet cherry set here. I do, I, I do quite like the uh, snow crystal. There's a nice shade of blue. Then we have the redwood. Then we have the maple set. Then we have the plum set, which is actually a nice kind of like in between like a pinkish red. And then you got uh, mango, which uh, which has a strange texture box. So here you can clearly see these are supposed to be hinges because that's how the door opens. But here, the trap door hinges don't quite work properly. They're both on the wrong side. They're supposed to be on the bottom of it to where it like, you know, where it flips up and down. Uh, we have peach stairs, which is a, which is a nice shape. I don't like the banana is just like an ugly I not even quite sure what to call this colour. Like brownish It's just ugly. And then we have lemon. Which is a quite nice set. Then we have the coconut, which is an orangey set. And then we have the Wisteria set, which is a nice shade of purple. Then we have the uh, Baobab set, which is an orangey colour. Then we have the Walnut set, which is a pale colour. And another pale uh, colour of stripped pear. And uh, not pear, just pear. Um, but yeah, pretty cool woods and it gives you some cool new trees. It, like if you want, if you want new woods, like e like every update, people are always like asking, okay, what new tree are we gonna get? What new planks and all that? Um, so if you're one of those people who's constantly asking for new different like woods with different colors and stuff, this is definitely for you. And obviously, and I think this whole like food stuff is just more of a side thing, really, because you, I don't really see many people who are going crazy for that when you've got all these different new like colors of wood to play around with. But yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy this uh, video. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Uh, join the Discord. Link down in the description below. We've got a Discord members. It's free to join. We've got a Discord members realm that you can join. Um, and yeah, let me know. Are you going to download this? And if you are, what are you most excited for? Are you? Uh, do you think I'm wrong and you're m more excited for the f new foods? Or are you excited to play around with any of these woods in particular? Do you like... And which woods do you like? And which woods do you not like? I don't really like the banana wood. Pretty, pretty, yeah, I think that's the only one that I really don't like. The others I either do like or don't really care much for. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys all did enjoy this video. Hope to see you guys in the next video. And bye-bye.